lacrosse friends, welcome to Arena Lacrosse League action at Children's Arena. It is a big day today. The top four teams in the league are playing each other right now. We have the first place, or sorry, we have the second place. Brampton, Brampton Express in the third place, or the second place Brampton Express, third place. Oshawa Outlaws. Oh, I got it backward again. Oshawa second, Brampton third. They are underway. This should be a dandy. Oshawa gets the first possession. A little swim move by Alex Simons in the first shot of the game. That one stopped by the starting goaltender, Lucas Nagy, for Brampton. Long outlet pass. He hits Penn Eistrad, who gets the first shot on the other end. That one was wide to the net, so will not be a reset. Brampton will not get it back. Oshawa will get the ball. Jackson Brown starting between the pipes for the Outlaws. And here's Gareth Haig with the ball for Oshawa. The Outlaws coming in at eight and four. And there's a save by Nagy, the outlet. They get it up over center, start to push into the offensive zone. Cam Mancini going to the net. Now Sear on him. It's no goal. You're going to call crease violation. Sear with a bit of a check. Mancini just stepping on the line. Nice drive underneath. Just didn't quite stay out of the crease. Here's St. John. Great move through the save, though, by Nagy. Nice cut laterally by St. John, the leading scorer in Arena League history. A few weeks ago, hit his 500th point in the league. It was a goal down in, in Millbrook facing the Peter Timberman. You can actually read about that on ilindoor.com in my musings from a couple weeks ago. We got into John St. John's history in this league. It's pretty impressive. Here's Seamus Shanahan on the run. Takes a bit of a whack there from Angus Rodding. They'll both head to the bench and we'll get Cam Mancini setting things up in the offensive zone. Tebow hands it off. Comes back to Mikhail Chullen. Cullen thought he had a lane down the middle. Oh, right to Mancini. There's a goal. No, it was stopped. I thought it went in, but somehow Brown got a piece of that. Outlet pass. That's pretty zesty. Little too much for Austin Blumbergs. And Brampton will take it over. Duncan Cart rumbles over center and hands it off there to Jake McNabb. Wasn't sure if McNabb would be here today because he signed on Thursday with the Colorado Mammoth. They are playing in Toronto this afternoon. That, they're gonna say crease violation. Nice effort, really heads up play. Oh, it is a goal. The officials consult. It was scooped up. You can't poke the ball in, but a great job by Sam Dramnitsky to get in, control the ball in his stick and tuck it home while staying outside the crease. It's one nothing. Brampton is on the board. 2-11 into the first quarter. Colin Matthews up to take the draw for Brampton in the gray with the yellow numbers. For Oshawa with the white and the blue shoulder caps. We've got Ryan Haig taking the draw. Noah Millsap, the Orangeville product, does a nice job getting through some traffic and fights through, gets it off, and Oshawa onto the offensive set. Josh Gilray along the far boards while the rest of the O gets out to join him. Delayed penalty coming to Brampton. So the sixth attacker is out. Chris Atwood to St. John. Shoot, stop. And it'll be corralled by Martin. Callan Martin for Brampton. And the first penalty of the game will be applied. It's going to be Pent Eistrat going off. It's a holding call. So two minutes or less on the power play for Oshawa. And I'll tell you, that's one thing. Jeff Dowling, the head coach of the Express, was saying before the game that they have to really be careful about is they cannot be spending too much time in the penalty box. This is a pretty lethal Oshawa power play. Gilmore hands it back to St. John Atwood. Let's it rip, save by Nagy, and it's scooped up though. St. John just kind of taps it into the boards, tries to pick it up. It's Jake Gilmore coming away with it. Oshawa gets the full power play set out. They'd already had someone get to, get to the bench for a defender. Pretty heads up, pretty responsible play. St. John dropped that one, but gets it back. McDonald all over him. Up to Gilmore. They've still got 12 on the shot clock. Gilray has to take it off the boards. Cart on him. Gilmore with the low catch. 
That pass didn't get through to anyone, just four on the shot clock. Oh, McDonald tries to shuffle ahead. That's gonna be a reset. May have wanted to just muck that one unless he was sure he could get it through. Brampton's got two guys up the floor. Now they are wide open for a two on O. Oh. Martin ahead to Gage Board. Oh, Gage Board, nifty moves, but got it up over top of Jackson Brown. Couldn't quite find the net. Here's McNabb, trying to cut around his defender. That's Niall Sear on him. It's loose. Sear tries to kick it because he lost his stick. Comes out to Matthews and Brampton will set up. They've got 12 on the shot clock because they did have possession and it was never controlled by Oshawa. So they are running a bit low on time, down to six. They've already got one defender out. That's Trent Robertson has come out again. And they actually, they've got two defenders and just a couple of players up front. They will hand it over and look to kill the final 18 seconds on the penalty to Eistrat. Atwood slow thing, slows things down a bit. Flips it over to St. John. Gilmore joins him on the left side. Skip past Atwood. Strong right behind the back. Shot a bouncer and it's a goal for Oshawa. That's, I believe that's Angus Rotting who's Listed as number 57, then it was changed to 51. I think he is back in. Oh no, that's Austin Murphy. Of course, you recognized Murph. So Austin Murphy with the power play goal that will wipe out the final second of the penalty to Eistrat. And Murphy with the big one for Oshawa. So tie things back up, 1-1. We've got 10-22 to go in the first quarter. Ryan Haig with the faceoff win. Oh, that pass was tipped, but it does get ahead to Millsap. He's going to find Jeff McNulty off the bench. McNulty bounces a pass across to Gareth Haig. Hits McNulty. Nice save, Nagy, throwing the arm up. And we're going to have a penalty. Oh, no, it's just a reset. Looked like the penalty hand, not the reset hand from the ref. But no, it's just the reset. Saved by Nagy on the outside rip from Haig. McNulty lost his bucket and is asking the refs how they think that happened. Saying it didn't just come off on its own. Here's Chullen. Chullen played for Adler over at the uh, Robeski tournament last year, I believe. I think he's going back. Tremendous player and guy. Here is Millsap. Got Adam Horlock on this Horlock on this side. He's all Canadian with Trent. A really strong Trent University presence on this Oshawa club. The head coach of that field team is Mark Farthing. He's number 12 for Oshawa. You've got Horlock and some other Excalibur players. There's a rep from the outside. Murphy missed the net. It's snagged there by Battersby. Dawson Battersby. It's turning into a two-on-two. -two. Numbers for Oshawa. So Battersby will just hand it off and McNabb will set up. Dramnitsky had the first goal of the game. Got Keegan White on his offside, just lets it fly. Outlet pass, it's a little too far for Haig. It'll get to Nagy before Haig can catch up. And Nagy's gonna look for an outlet. They were changing, they have to be careful as they had a defender coming out. So to really be cautious as Darcy Thompson came onto the floor, but they managed it safely. Dramnitsky dives to the net. That one's up off of Brown. Look like, I don't know how that didn't hit this, anything up in the ceiling, but it did not. Here's Graham Bergsma, veteran Netherlands player. Imagine that. And he is, uh, he's been in a couple of world championships for them. I assume he's going to be playing for them in Utica this fall. Be a number of these players, I think, representing their countries. Here's Jake Gilmore. Underhand pass is picked off. Outlet, that's a bit much. It's going to be tracked down, though, by Eistrat. He will get it before anyone can get there to cover him. So he'll slow things down. Let's set up the O. They've still got 20 seconds to work with as Chullen takes this pass. There's the give. Goes for a little pick. And they're going to flip it to the far side. Eight to shoot. They get it inside. McNabb tries a little spinner, but he was pretty well covered there. But that's Angus rotting on him. Rotting is wearing the 51. Pretty sure he even has his name on it. Here is Gareth Haig. One of the top scorers on this club. Nice pass through the shot there by McNulty. Stopped. Nagy has had to be sharp. 
really faced some challenges. Running the floor is Trent Robertson. He looks like he's thinking shot. He's gonna pull it out and realize there is nothing there for him. So he'll hand it off to the O. Jeff Dowling's Brampton Express with the ball now. Mancini trying to drive through a couple of defenders. Bergsman and Aiden Saint all over him. There's a shot from the outside by Battersby. And Jackson Brown makes the save. And we will take our first timeout of the first half as there's 6.52 to go in the first quarter. It is 1-1 in Arena League action, Brampton and Oshawa. Back underway in this 1-1 tie. Keegan White hands it off, heads inside. Brampton setting some screens underneath, trying to work inside. Defensive play pretty good so far for Oshawa there. Sear has it, he's under pressure. Tries to go through the double team, triple team hit, turns it over, McNabb rips one. It's underneath Jackson Brown. I think now Sear might like to rethink that one if he could, maybe not try and run through everyone right on top of his crease. He'll take this pass and just leave it there for Jake Gilmore. Oshawa getting the full set out. St. John circles around the top. Low pass to Haig. Back door. Atwood got it. Nicely covered there by Cart. Good job not letting him. Atwood is so dangerous. What a pass. And that one's picked off though. Board running out of the zone. And no penalty. He returns the favor and knocks St. John to the turf. Both had a bit of a slide on the blue carpet. Here they come to Mancini. This is Mikhail Chullen. Ward has it on the far side. He'll rip that one. Stopped by Brown, no problem. He's looking for an outlet. A little bit of pressure from Brampton. Now they'll back away. There'll be some space for Jeff Geddes to run up into the offensive zone. Left it there for Alex Simons, and this is Jeff or uh, McNulty, St. John now, alternate captain for the Outlaws. Played in every arena lacrosse league season. Four scoring championships, the last four in a row. And he's right up there again, St. John, still leading the way with 74 points. It's tight though, he's got some real competition. Devin Piper with 72, sitting right behind him. We're gonna see him later today with his Whippy Steelhawks. Here's a break, Eistrout with the shot, that one's turned aside. And they're gonna say through the crease, he'll go to Oshawa. Nice outlet pass. Blumberg's with the give and then the go towards the net, didn't get the pass, a nice, pretty nice cut, but covered okay by the defenders, wasn't really there. So they're gonna slow it down, St. John coming out as the fifth attacker, fourth attacker. Blumberg's is still going to the bench. We've got 10 on the shot clock and Gilmore will let one rip. Alex Simons hadn't even got to the restraining line yet. <laughs> He's gotta head back to the bench, let a defender get out. First one out was Noah Millsap. He's gonna pick up Keegan White. Backdoor cut, they had Gavin Tebow. Couldn't quite get it there. And Oshawa's gonna take over Sear with the outlet pass. Ryan Haig will slow it down. Ryan Haig and Gareth Haig are twins. Both played at Cleveland State for their collegiate lacrosse. Ryan's a D tranny here in, in Arena League in the box game and plays defense. I'm sorry, plays attack in field. Oh, except in the crease. Pinged it off the post. May have gone in, doesn't matter. And uh, Gareth, who's uh, the second leading scorer for Oshawa with 51 points, including a team leading 29 goals, which is fifth in the league, he actually plays goalie. Infield the cross. Chullen is taken down. Niles here looks to the ceiling. Can't believe he's getting called for a trip. They got 10 seconds with the extra attacker. Brampton looking to move ahead right here before they even have to go to the power play. Mancini's shot is blocked by Jake Strosher, and the penalty will be adjudicated. It is indeed two minutes for tripping. The Express go to the power play. Niles here will sit for two minutes or less. 3.24 to go here in the first quarter. McNabb's going to leave it for Dramnitsky up at the top to quarterback this power play as he'll go strong left. Hard underhand by McNabb. Misses everything, gets up into the Oshawa bench and that will be 
possession for the Outlaws. <laughs> they wanted to get running. They're going to have to start back in their own end. So John St. John will take it. Head coach Joey Hilt's not here for the Outlaws today. So I guess Ryan Lee stepping in as the acting head coach today. They've also got Ryan McMichael and Justin Warner on the bench. Atwood taking his time, backpedaling very close to the line. There's a shot that gets on, taken by Murphy. Nobody was up there to get the reset. Oshawa was just backing into their penalty kill set setup. We got Millsap and Blumberg's, I think, up at the top of the penalty kill. Hard rip goes wide. Chris Veltman picks it up. Lobs it ahead. Nice job to get it up for Blumberg to run onto. And then looking for the give and go. Blumberg's didn't think it was there. There may have been a lane, but decided discretion was the better part of Valor. Gilray gives it to Gareth Haig. Oh, he gets underneath. Matthews drives. Nice save. Nagy has been sharp. He has been tested. 1-1 one, one in goals. And it'll be interesting to see what the scoring chances are. I think they favor Oshawa. Fairly substantially at this point. Dramnitsky back over to Gage Board. Hard rip off the post. Be a fresh 30, and they've still got 15 on the shot on the penalty. So they've got time to do something if they want to. They're gonna have to go pretty quickly. McNabb set up in the shooter spot, but it's Dramnitsky coming down the middle. We'll find a home for that ball. Power play marker. Boy, Oshawa scored with one second to go in their power play. Now Brampton, with five seconds to go in their power play, gets a man up marker. And it's two to one for the Express with 1.29 to go here in the first quarter. Matthews and Haig back at the dot. Horsley races in to scoop that loose ball. Flings it ahead to Eistrat. He's going to stay up for the offensive shift. He can play either end of the floor. Okay, he's mostly going at the back door here. Sear, great strip. Fights free, his stick free as it was being kind of tied up, so he kicked it ahead, but nice work by Ward to knock it loose again. That was Curtis Ward. But Sear wins that battle and gets the ball over to Bergsma. And they'll set up on O. St. John. Shot from the outside, might have been going for a two for one. It's gonna be an over and back. Battersby will track this one down and start with possession in the corner for Brampton. 42.8 to go. So they, I would think, would wanna take their time and not leave Oshawa too much time at the end of this possession. Go back the other way. Or he just blasts that one home. It's a beautiful shot by Darcy Thompson on the run, finds a spot and pushes the Express ahead three to one with 34.7 to go here in the first. Haig with the clamp, Matthews on him, it's gonna be a Procedure violation by Matthews going after him. So Oshawa will have 32.3 seconds, so a couple of seconds difference. They've already got Brown to the bench for the extra attacker. Haig is the last one joining. He's up at the top. They've actually got four lefties. There's Atwood and Murphy over on the right side. Atwood's looking for the ball, gets it. Blasts one, 11 seconds in the quarter. Gets it back though. Now they throw a pass across the floor. That is going to be just missing. Duncan Cart thought he had an empty net chance. He's going to go over and block that shot back the other way. He had just a bit more time than he realized, but it is 3-1 for Brampton over Oshawa through 15 minutes of play. I'm Stephen Stamp. Thanks for being with us for Arena Lacrosse League action at Children's Arena. Welcome back, Lacrosse friends. We're ready to go with quarter number two. The second place Oshawa Outlaws right now trailing the Brampton Express who are seven and five on the season. 
Only two games per team left in the regular season. Sear can't quite catch that pass a bit behind him. Brampton gets it the other way. They lead three to one. Here's Matthews. Gage Boards, that's a little pick for him. Millsap gives him a pretty good pop as he goes by. Oshawa setting up on defense. Lob pass across, McNabb gets underneath. Shot, no problem for Brown on that one. Wasn't a whole lot behind it. Bergsma outlet to Strosher. Relays it to Veltman. He's gonna head deep. Let's see O get out now, he'll head to the bench. Alex Simons, it opens up, he goes underhand, but that one was blocked. Simons trying to come away with it, get it back. There was no possession for Brampton, so there's only seven on the shot clock. Gets it out to Atwood. Makes the pass to St. John, that one's stopped. Nagy, really looking sharp. Makes that pass ahead to Trent Robertson, who was flirting with center, didn't really have anywhere else to go, did a nice job of navigating himself. And Horsley will lob it up to Chullen. Mikael Chullen looks for the man off the bench. Tebow was the last guy on. Chullen underneath. Oh, great trail check. That's Chris Atwood back playing D. And then he tells Chullen exactly what he just did in a very Chris Atwood manner. He is a vastly talented player, and he likes to have a nice chat on the floor as well. Geddes leaves it there for Gilray, and Oshawa sets up on O. Simons gets it back. He's going to rip one near side. Nagy just gets it. There was some space on the post, but Nagy took it away. Fresh 30, and Oshawa's going to slow things down. Looks like they might be going right away, but calmer heads prevailed. And here's Haig. Sidearm ripped to the far side. That is a beauty. Goal number 30 on the season for Gareth Haig. And that is just a rocket to the far low corner. <coughs> Matthews and Haig again at the dot. Haig again with the clamp. Matthews battling. Boy, Matthews gets in there. He's not winning many of the clamps at B. He gets after, and this time Seamus Shanahan comes away with it, spins to try and get out of trouble. It's Sierra's there for the double team. Sear and Veltman just maul Shanahan into the turnover, but then it's thrown away as Matthews went up to pick that one off. They were trying to hit Angus Rodding, and then he's going to return the favor by flying that one over the top of Jake McNabb, and eventually Oshawa's going to get an offensive set. Here's Harlack. Had it tipped away by Robertson. It's going to be scooped up. Breakaway chance here for Horsley. Off the post and hit the foot of Jackson Brown, the right foot, and went over to the post on the opposite side of the net. Ricocheted out. Chance coming down low. St. John shopping, or McNulty, sorry, shopping. Finds the pass to the cutter. And a lovely job of putting that one home by Jake Gilmore on the run. Accepts the pass and tucks it past Nagy to tie things up 3-3. We are three minutes into, well, two minutes and 58 seconds into the second quarter. Another clamp win, and this one, Haig pulls straight back to Austin Blumberg's. He'll head up over center. Watch there by Thomas McDonald. Get it over to Haig, getting underneath. Cart takes away that lane. The pass to St. John tips off the head of his stick and heads out of play. Pushing the pace, there's a goal on the run. Pent Eistrat, lovely end-to-end -end rush. A little delay while they were waiting for play to be blown back in and Brampton was ready to roll. I think Eistrat managed to just keep his momentum going a bit and allow it to drag him all the way down to the offensive zone where he tucked it past Brown. Chris Veltman to our right having a pretty interesting little chat, animated discussion with the referee, just trying to clarify something. He's nodding at the end, seems to have been satisfied that things are gonna be called a certain way going forward. He knows what's coming. 
Brampton gets it back after taking their four to three lead. McNabb hits Horsley on the run shot. That one bounces, did it get off anything? No, it just went off the boards. So it will be Oshawa possession. Yeah, Brampton wanted it. They thought it was off the post or the goalie or something. Here's St. John, beautiful goal. Takes a nice pass. I think it was Sear making that outlet pass. And then St. John catches it right on top of the net and just tucks one over the far shoulder of Lucas Nagy. Quick response. Yeah, Brampton's still arguing about the call at the other end, saying it should have been a reset, went off the foot of Jackson Brown. I couldn't really see, I would say based on how the ball came up, it probably had to hit him. So, Brampton with a bit of an, an argument, but I'm not sure anybody saw it. Doesn't matter now, we're 4-4 as we approach 11 minutes to go. We're four minutes gone in this second quarter. Nagy couldn't quite come up with that ball, so Cart gets it, Gilmore on him. Cart fights through it and Gilmore loses his stick, so Cart gets a clear. He's having a bit of a chat for the Oshawa bench too. Another player that's not shy to share his opinion. Here's Keegan White, reverses course. Just getting the whole O out there. He'll throw it over to McNabb. That one did get up and hit the ceiling and definitely didn't hit the goalie or anything, he just went off the backboard. So that will be Oshawa ball. Here comes Blumberg's, He's getting picked up high by Andrew Horsley. Runs right by him and heads it down low. Gilray with the shot, steps in the crease, so Nagy had stopped it anyway. And Brampton will go back. Pretty good pace to this game. Really ticking along nicely. Defense and goaltending, so far kind of the story of the game, although 20 minutes in, so that'd be a better 12-12 game if this pace keeps up. That's a reasonable scoring rate. Dremnitsky hands it off. Chullen, great fake, pulls it down. But the stop by Brown. Chullen all over the four check, right on top of Aiden Saint. Battle still <laughs> ensuing. And Saint's gonna get called for a loose ball push as he just ran over Gavin Tebow. I thought it was probably from the front, but yeah, maybe side-ish. I think it was on the back. Tebow gets it, bounces one. Looked like Saint was kind of looking away. Here is Millsap, mishandles it, but gets it back, shoots far side, just missed. He could definitely sense Dawson Battersby racing in to apply some pressure. Now Battersby up over center, tries to hit the cutter in the slot. Dramnitsky was turned away anyway, unless he was going to Josh Burn it. If you have not seen the play that Josh Burn made on Friday, March the 8th, he had four goals, look for the third one, I think it is. Oh, what a shot! Pent Eistrad up for the offensive shift, just blasts that one through, you can hear that Brown got a bit of it. 9.17 to go, Brampton back up in front, five to four. This is back and forth, so it's quite a game. Watching the, uh, saw the highlight of the Ty Argent goal in the Arena League a little while ago playing, I believe he's playing for the Snipers. Or is he with us weekend? He was down at the ILA. And what a play by Ty Argent, just maintaining possession of the ball. That one's on Instagram, you can go check that out. I think it's on Blue Squatch. It's probably on the Arena League Instagram, I'm not sure, but I definitely saw it. What a play by Ty Argent, one of the real bright lights in this Arena Lacrosse League. Here's Horlack, coast to coast, and then the shot did not have what he was hoping on it. It was a bouncer that gently tucked into the pads of Lucas Nagy. Here's Gage Board. Signed with Georgia last year, didn't get a chance to be with him. Oh, nice move, White, but Brown with the save. Atwood is down the floor. And Brampton's gonna send someone to cover him because you do not want him alone on your goalie. That pass doesn't connect. They still got 16 to shoot, but oh. Loose ball push that called there. That's yeah, probably a good call, Aiden Saint. Getting right on top of, I guess it was Thompson. This is Thompson now over to McNabb. McNabb fights through the check. Some serious pressure being applied there by Angus Rodding, but McNabb still fights through to get the shot off. Now Niall Sear up the other way. Horsley. 
stop by Brown. Nice job covering the rebound as Battersby was right there on him. Then a sidearm one hopper to Millsap, who takes the hit, fights through it, gets to Bergsma. He'll step around and shoot. That one's a little high. It's going to be a reset because it still went off of Nagy, even though it was going to be over the net. Of course, as a goalie, you can't just assume it's over the net. Penalty coming to Brampton. Atwood just cradling Shanahan on him. Defenders don't much like Chris Atwood. He can be very, uh, he is a heck of a player. Not shy to let you know it. Pass across, that bounces off a player in front. Up over the net. Gareth Haig almost had it, had the stick slapped right out of his hands. Atwood will get it. Wasn't sure how long he had, made the pass to Jake Gilmore and the 30 expired before he could get the shot off. So the penalty is interference, and we will have an Oshawa power play when we return to Arena Lacrosse League action. 7.17 to go in the second, 5-4 for Brampton. Welcome back, lacrosse friends. 7.17 to go here in the second quarter. Chris Atwood will start with the ball at the top of the righty strong power play for the Oshawa Outlaws. It was Horsley going off for interference. Atwood, oh nice backdoor pass and it's banged home by Jake Gilmore. Great vision by Atwood, really nice touch pass and Gilmore just hammering that one and you can hear that Nagy got a bit of it. But that is a power play goal. We've been getting power play goals late in the man advantages, not that one, that took just 16 seconds off the penalty. Now the penalty's wiped out, Matthews and Haig back to center. It's all tied up again, 5-5. Five, five. Still battling for that loose ball. Coming out is Medeiros. Breakaway Brown. <laughs> nice job on the rebound as well after a pretty good save. Here's Niall Sear. Gets around McDonald. Heading to the net. Passes it down low. McNulty on his offside, so he hits the pass to Simons running in. That had nowhere to get through. Nagy swallowed it up and makes it out of the pass. Battersby. Slow break. Feltman all over him. Hands it off to McNabb. Tebow on the near side. Hard rip from well downtown, but Eistrap missed the net. Grabbed by Tebow. He sees there's not much time. Tries to dunk it. It's good. Gavin Tebow, what a play. Check out the look to see how long he had on the shot clock, which was about four seconds. So he used about three of them to corral the ball, head to the back of the net, and tuck that one just past the shoulder of Jackson Brown. That's a beauty. Gage Ward comes away with that one. Looked up floor as Medeiros was breaking. But he was pretty well covered there by Millsap. Nice job coming off the face-off to take away transition. Now we've got a penalty coming to Oshawa. So they trail six to five. The power plays have been completely effective so far. They're calling Nagy to the bench. There's only 10 seconds. Uh, and eight. Now they're saying nope. And there's so much thought about what's going on over there that they just leave Darcy Thompson. And he decides he'll just rip one home. So the extra attacker goal makes it 7-5 Brampton. The penalty is wiped out. We'll remain five on five with 5.38 to play. Just so everyone's clear, since I kind of fumbled it earlier, Ryan Haig taking the face off here for Oshawa. He plays D in box. He's an attack in field where he's at Cleveland State. His twin brother, Gareth, one of the leading scorers here in the Arena Lacrosse League and with Oshawa. He's a goalie in field lacrosse. Also was at Cleveland State where they took medical technology. Demanding program. Here's Gage Board. Watched by Bergsma. A couple of veterans. Picked by Tebow, nicely handled in the switch with Farthing, another veteran. That was some good solid lacrosse play, and here comes Bergsma looking up the floor. First look was for a transition chance, nothing there. 
He'll just come across center, make the easy pass to Haig. Haig down low to St. John. Hard shot, but it was right in the belly pad of Nagy, and St. John was in the crease. That'll be Brampton possession. They lead by a couple, under five to go in the second. We're here at Children's Arena. I'm Steven Stamp. Thanks for being with us. It's been a while since I've been in a game here at Children's. Nice to get back to the old haunts. Dramnitsky. Pick and roll. Nice pass to Ward as they both, the defenders, went to Ward. His shot bounces out, and then everyone went to pick up Ward. And Dramnitsky scoops up the rebound and tucks it home. He is all about those rebounds right on the crease. They got the first goal of the game on the one where he scooped it up actually inside the crease and tucked it home. Now he's extended the Brampton lead to 8-5, to five, and Oshawa is going to take their first half timeout. Ready to roll after the Oshawa timeout. They're trying to stem the tide as Brampton on a bit of a roll here with three straight goals. They've also won six games in a row. These are two hot teams because Oshawa is four and one in their last five. They lost their last game a week ago today to, uh, to Whippy. That was a 13-6 drubbing by the Steelhawks, the first place club. But they'd won their four before that, playing quite well. So you got two hot teams. Right now, Brampton a little bit hotter. Tebow tries to flip a pass out to Keegan White, doesn't connect. Saint fighting for it, comes away with the ball. Nice job escaping traffic. Looks up the floor, nobody there, so he'll just keep running with it. My first chance to see Aiden Saint play. It's his fourth game of the year. I'm enjoying his game so far. It's Josh Gilray. Pension players playing internationally. I believe Gilray played for England at the Euros and World Championships. Drive to the net by Murphy. Just avoids the crease. That was some great footwork and pro perception to not step in. Hague shot off the ankle of Robertson. That had to hurt a lot more than he was letting on. He just trots over to the bench. Doesn't look bothered by it. My guess is he's going to be sore later. Curtis Ward. Bergsma fights through the pick to stay with him. Dramnitsky again, but Bergsma staying right on him. Ball pops out. Ward will move it and bounce one over to Dramnitsky. Dramnitsky gets underneath and scores. Oh, he's so quick. A little drop step spin move underneath. Gets his defender on his back and just tucks it into the far side. Four in a row for the Express, they're up nine to five with 3.06 to go here in the first half. Haig hey, pulls it out, there's a uh, quite a crowd there, it's grabbed eventually by Chris Veltman. Gets it ahead to McNulty who will bounce it to Simons coming off the bench. Simons gonna pick from Atwood. Gilmore turned aside nicely by McDonald, but St. John, great chance right on top of the crease. Stopped by Nagy and Matthews will duck out of the back of the crease before he hits the four second count. McDonald's gotta get across center, he does so. Ball's loose in the corner. Horlick comes away with it. Runs into his own teammate. And we're going to have a moving pick call as the Brampton, as McNabb was knocked down during the play. So with 2.14 to go, still 9 4, 9 5 for uh, Brampton. They're going to slow things down a little, get the O set. Mancini fighting underneath, flips it back. That gets away from everybody. Oh, and the spin. Thompson was just a little casual about getting to that. And the spin. Took it out of his reach. It'll be an over and back. Oshawa will try and cut into that lead with 2.02 to go here in the first half. Murphy starts with it. Murphy was instrumental in the second year of the Arena League when Whitby Steelhawks, an expansion team at the time, won the All Championship. There's another save by Nagy. A bit of a slow release on the quick stick by Gilray, and Nagy was standing there waiting for him. 
Yeah, Murphy it might have been the leading scorer that year. Here's a shot, nice save by Brown. That one looked labeled far post. Here comes Gilray on the run. Couple of guys coming off the bench. Gilray ducks for everyone and gets a shot off. Snagged by Rodding on the rebound. Robertson all over him. He'll fight his way out. They'll get the O set. Eistrad has stayed up the floor for Brampton, so Millsap will stay up there with him. A little fake by Gilmore. Gets underneath. Medeiros with the trail. Pretty effective job of limiting McNulty's opportunities, and he went up stepping in the crease. Or sorry, Gilmore. Cart steps over center. Flicks it on. Dramnitsky setting up with the final minute of play in the first half. Kibo kept it moving. Chullen, he flicks it to nobody. It's going to be an over and back. Farthing going hard after, but won't need to. It's going to be an over and back call. 48.3. We'll see again if Oshawa goes for a two for one here, if they just decide to play out the possession. They're going to go for the two for one, and that is caught right between the shin pad and the toe cap by Lucas Nagy. You don't see that very often. Just wedged in there. Board with the pass. McNabb shoots. That came with about 37 left. Brampton will get it back. Now they've got 34, so they still can't pull Nagy with full confidence. And they will not. Thompson will set up. Board heads off to get another attacker out. Thompson on the run misses. Gets up into the rafters, and now Brown will go to the bench, and Oshawa is going to get the extra attacker out. Here's Blumbergs. Simons came to take it. 12 on the clock. St. John's in the corner, wants the ball, gets it. Eight seconds, coming around the top. Feeds it to Simons, nice chance, but just wide of the net. St. John with two seconds, rips it, and that is how the half will end. Brampton, nine, Oshawa, five. As we're through 30 minutes to play here at Children's Arena, I'm Stephen Sam. thanks for being with us for Arena Lacrosse League action. We'll be right back after the half. Welcome back, lacrosse friends. We're ready to go with half number two. Third quarter faceoff coming up between Matthews and Haig. That is quite a scrum. Matthews trying to clamp onto it. Looks like Millsap had it for a moment. Still loose. Eventually, it's come away with by Pent. Eistrad is going straight to the net. Shoots and pings it off the crossbar. That one get, hits an Oshawa player. And Brampton will retain possession. Curtis Ward with it. Ward with 14 goals, 18 assists year, this year. Gets over to McNabb. McNabb by far the leading scorer for Brampton. He's got 57 points. Somebody else with more than 34. Hey, and there's another one for McNabb who's been fairly quiet today. Came in with 32 goals and rips that one home to continue the run for the Brampton Express. 10 to five there, now doubling up Oshawa. Hey, with the clamp, Matthews rakes it out. <laughs> Duncan Cart just took a stick to the face, inadvertent, but it was definitely a stick by Austin Murphy popping up and hitting him in the cage. Niall Sear trying to fight through traffic. It's gonna be an illegal substitution call. Yeah, Brampton had a lot of guys on the floor. <laughs> Oh no, is it Oshawa? Oshawa had, six. Oshawa had six. Brampton was changing. It looked like they had a fair number as well, but Oshawa, six guys out playing. Gave the ref a chance to just count them, make the call, and now with a 10 to five lead, 49 seconds into the third quarter, Brampton back to the power play. Dramnitsky will start with it up top as they go strong left once again. Oshawa hasn't put anybody in the box yet. Be Drake Strosher goes to serve the penalty. The way the power play's been going this game. Seems likely he won't spend the full two minutes and the power play's been very successful. McNabb, gonna get back from Dramnitsky. They're just playing catch a little bit. Ducks underneath, Blumberg gets a shot off, it's wide. Tracked down by McNabb, they've got 10 to shoot. Thompson, a little pick from Dramnitsky, shoots wide. That's gonna be an over and back. It's gonna roll straight to Nagy. 
Nagy drops it behind the net. So Blumberg's will have to pick it up and head over into the corner. St. John runs away to drag Martin out of space and create some room for Blumberg's. St. John takes the pass now as they've got still a minute 20 to kill here on this penalty. Down to 15 on the shot clock. St. John ragging, fights through. Martin holds and St. John has drawn a penalty that will even things up. With 1.12 left, we're going to go four on four for a minute 12 and then Oshawa will go to the power play for 48 seconds. St. John, diligent work to fight through that double team. We'll send Gilmore and St. John, the lefties, and Atwood and Murphy, the righties, for Oshawa. I start carefully watching as St. John passes the ball across, picks up St. John coming through the middle. Gilmore and St. John working to try and open each other up. The pass doesn't quite connect with St. John. He's fighting for it along the boards. Shanahan all over him, and Battersby comes away with her. So that was Eistrat. Battersby to, to Eistrat scores. Whoa. Jackson Brown left a ton of space on the near post. Looks like he was thinking pass, and Eistrat saw all that room and just tucked it in. Four on four goal, and Brampton just keeps rolling. Looks like that's it for Jackson Brown for the time being. Mark shoots, or sorry, Ryan shoots Kowski. Mark's son is uh, heading out to take over. Brown entered the game with a two and one record. 12.78 goals against average. Shoots Kowski is actually three and zero oh for the Outlaws this year. For the 14.44 goals against. That one rolls to Nagy. Oh, we're doing numbers, Nagy. Hasn't played a ton, just a few games, but an 8.00 goals against. He's played very well. Tremendous young keeper. <laughs> 20 left in the four on four. Pass to the back door, doesn't connect. That's through the crease and the first player to play it. I don't think Keegan White realized he stepped in the crease. But he clearly had, the refs were pointing at him the whole way. But they were behind him, so he didn't realize. Here's Millsap, shoots. Oh, and Nagy gets the stick behind. The ball was sitting there. He did have it covered, and here comes Gage Board. Two seconds on the penalty, and Oshawa going to the power play. Shot. Not connecting by Tebow. There's a two-on-one for Oshawa. Niall Sear to Strosher. Nice. Oh, it's in. No, it's not. Gets underneath Nagy. It's, it is in the net. They must have stepped in the crease before it went in. Nagy got a fair bit of it. Chullen calls ahead. Gets it to McNabb. Thompson down to Tebow. Chullen flattened. Jousting a bit with Chris Veltman over in front of the net. Tried to hit the cutter. Brampton with 15 left on the penalty. That pass is too high for Veltman. He's going to have to track it down, but he's going to overrun his ice trap. Was coming in hard. Gets the ball and breaks out three on one. McNabb shoots around the defender, Bergsman, nice save. Ryan shoots Kowski, ready for the tough challenge shortly after getting into the game. Here's Alex Simons, we'll leave it there. As Gareth Haig carries the ball past the restraining line. Rip from the outside, well off target from Simons. St. John battling through pressure from Robertson. Got two to shoot. McNulty's going to try one more pass. And they're just going to run out of time. Matthew steps across center. Going to leave it ahead to the bench. Dramnitsky takes it. We are back all even. 10.40 to go in the third to 11-5 Brampton. They are on a run. Six straight wins coming in. Six straight goals now. To pull ahead 11-5. Oshawa wants to start cutting into that quickly. Gilmore. Haig watched by Horsley. A pick from Gilmore goes underneath instead. The pick was a down pick. Haig just kept running with it. 
Gilray. There's a big pick. The roll comes back out to Murphy, rips one. That's stopped. Saying it's still free. Gilray has it. Takes a shot immediately, really early in the 30. They get that pass through to St. John. Diving dunk attempt is good. Gareth Hay just changes direction. Jab set, plants that foot hard in the turf, goes back. So he can get the backhand tuck, the easier side on the dunk attempt and rams it home to stem the tide of the Express. Make it 11-6, Oshawa finally back on the board. Just under five gone, just over five gone here in the third quarter. Millsap gets it off the face off, but he is double teamed, fights through it. The ball is loose, still trying to come up with it. Extended battle. And Ryan Haig, oh, I thought he was scooping it, but he didn't get it. Matthew's still going after the ball, had it, has it again, and lobs it over to Cart. Great effort there by Colin Matthews to eventually obtain possession. Cart with the high pass, but it is hauled down by Eistrat and the Express set up. McNabb at the top as they go strong right. Eistrat through the middle, shoots, saves Schutzkowski. Bergsma scoops it up, looking up the floor, will just bounce it short to Aiden Saint. Saint will run over center, leave it for Simons as Oshawa gets the offense out. John St. John with it. Hank directs him to go to the boards. He's going to come and set a pick. Pass went to the far side. St. John almost received the pass, but just missed it. It's going to be Brampton with a break. All alone is Martin. Oh, nice one. Callan Martin, just a subtle fake to the far side, to the Schutzkowski's left shoulder, and pinged it inside the post on the other side. So a quick response for the Express. They're up 12 to 6. Once again, doubling up Oshawa. 8.45 to go here in the third quarter. Pops straight out to Blumberg, Blumberg's. One of the quicker face-off possession battles we've had. Gillery and St. John almost collided. They've still got Haig coming out as the fifth attacker. That's going to be a moving pick on Oshawa, and Brampton will get possession. They're looking to push the pace. Eistrat sees a bevy of white jerseys coming, so they'll just slow it down. That's right, logging a lot of minutes for the Express today. Very effective. Nice pressure from Farthing. Got it away from Battersby momentarily. Battersby manages to recover and get it across to Tebow, who hands it off immediately. That one finds McNabb to Tebow. He shoots it over the top of the net. Shuskowski pops around behind his net into his crease and up ahead to Noah Millsap. Sees the alternate captain, St. John. Shanahan out on him. St. John gets it back. We talked about guys who have played for their nations. Seamus Shanahan has represented Ireland. I'm sure he's keen to do so again this year. A lot of teams just starting to announce their rosters. The women's teams primarily. This is the first ever women's World Lacrosse Box Championship here. And we have reached the midpoint and our break in the third quarter as this game is ticking along. It's 12-6 Brampton. I'm Stephen Stamp. This is Arena Lacrosse League Action. We'll be right back. <laughs> We're back underway. Brampton setting up with the ball and they are starting with six runners just to get possession going and then Cole Martin comes into the net for Brampton. Lucas Nagy went down to the dressing room, laboring a little as he went. He'd been favoring the one leg. And uh, looks like he's going to need a bit of a break here. McNabb goes behind the net. We'll see if Oshawa can take advantage here. There's the save by Schutzkowski. So both of the non-starters are in now. Hey, pushing it deep. Double team is there. Fight out at the top. 
Hands it off. That pass is picked off. Simons either knocked board down or board. Looked like he almost just kind of lost his balance. But he'll fight through it as he gets back up. And they will set up in the offensive zone board still in possession of it. Nice attempt to get it through to Thompson. Couldn't quite connect. Gage board. Fifth on the team with 30 points, even though he plays a detransition role. Cart jumps out on Sear, but he left Atwood. Cart really banged into Atwood, then ran past him to go to Sear. Nobody picked Atwood up, and you can't leave Chris Atwood alone in front of the crease, or he will do that, especially to your goalie who's just stepped into the game. It's 12 7 with the Atwood naked look tucked home. 6 8 to go here in the third. Brampton back into the offensive zone. Ice trap bounce to the far side. <laughs> Tebow looked like he was loading up, like he might want a shot. Penalty coming. It's going to be on Millsap. He's trying to push McNabb over center. He does, but McNabb gets rid of the ball before he goes over. And the extra attacker is out for Brampton. They go back door. Oh, nice attempt, but Tebow just missed. And Oshawa will pick it up. It's going to be a check from behind. Oshawa's coaching staff letting him know a Millsap know that they have no problem with the play he just made. You think they think it was good defense? I oh. unsportsmanlike to Oshawa. That's terrible. Not sure. It must have been something coming from the bench. All I could hear from here was them encouraging Millsap, saying, oh, that's good deed, not a penalty. Must have been something else, and it is five on three for Brampton with a 12 to seven lead. Chance for them to extend it. They've got Gage Board up as the safety valve at the top. He can be dangerous if he, if he slides in. Nice job grabbing that by Farthing, fighting through, looking ahead, and trying to thread it through the rafters, didn't make it, McNabb will peel out and set up on the five on three. Probably a good call. Got some great chances coming with this four on three set down low, basically. Dramniski to McNabb, he'll fire it. Saved by the hand of Schutzkowski. Goes straight back out to Thompson. Darcy Thompson circles. Down low, Dramniski. Oh, far side off the post. Board will track it down. Just his side of center. 45 gone in the Double power play here. The two-man advantage for Brampton. McNabb around the shooter, fires. That one may have been tipped by Veltman. I think it was going high anyway. But Veltman made sure it didn't go in. Now McNabb fires one. That one missed on its own. It's going to get up into, oh, it goes through the rafters. So seven left to shoot. McNabb fires one. That's a save by Schutzkowski. And another fresh 30 by, for Thompson picking it up. Brampton has been in the offensive zone this entire power play, but not much to show for. Not even really any great scoring opportunities. McNabb gets it. That pass didn't get through. Mancini trying to feed one in the middle. Up to Thompson. He'll just blast one. I think Schutzkowski got a bit of that. Yep, so it goes out of play off of him. Another fresh 30. 25 left on the 5 on 3. Another save by Schutzkowski who has come in and been stellar so far for the Outlaws, and that's going to hit the roof. Chris Veltman with 18 left on the five on three. Got a little bit over ambitious. There's McNabb, rips one. Stopped by Schutzkowski. Sear with the outlet pass. 
Blumberg was running across center, hand it to St. John, and in three seconds, Oshawa is coming back to full strength. And that's a pretty big momentum, potential momentum turner for Oshawa, killing the five on three. A little slight dust up between Robertson and St. John behind the net, and there's another save by Schutzkowski. Actually got through him, but rolled wide. Bergsma looking to rip one. That's a nice low pass ahead to St. John, staying well below the rafters. Goes far side, Simons around the top, comes into a lane. Oh, nicely picked up there by Matthews. Dunk attempt by Haig, that one's off the post, but the rebound is put in. Had they, no, they're saying through the crease, which I don't quite get. I thought, I thought Haig had cleared the crease by the time that was put back in, so I don't really get that one. Boy, Oshawa really could have used that goal, trailing 12-7. Schuskowski with the save, the rebound was sitting there juicily, but he managed to get it. Outlet pass is too far for Horlack, and it goes all the way down to Cole Martin. Still no sign of Lucas Nagy over on the Brampton bench. He must be off in the change room or addressing whatever was bothering him. Keegan White will back out and toss it up top, gets it back from Mancini. Hard rip right in the chest pad though. White's gonna go get another 30 for Brampton. Tumbles to the turf, but keeps his head about him and just makes a simple pass out to Chullen. Protecting the ball away from Horlack. Got some swats on him. Shot doesn't get through. Tebow tries a little reverse whip. That doesn't get through. It's a breakaway coming for Jeff Geddes. Scores nicely done by Geddes to tuck that one past Cole Martin. And Oshawa is creeping back into it. <laughs> 12 to 8 the score with 150 to play here in the third quarter. Hagen Matthews again. Blumberg lobs it back to Veltman, the captain calling for it at center and gets it. Illegal cross check now. It's Blumberg's going to the box. That was away from the play. Not a penalty his coaches are gonna be happy with. So 138 to go in the third. 12-8 Brampton, they go to the power play. Dramnitsky once again at the top as a lefty strong this time over to McNabb. McNabb gets it back. The drag opened up some space, pass didn't get through. Thompson's gonna get it. Looks up to Ward at the top. Four on the shot clock though, he's gonna try and get to the net. Shoots, stops, scores! Oh, they're saying no goal. It looked. He must have gone through the crease because the ball definitely rolled over the line. Hey, watch closely by Battersby. Takes away the underneath as he gets help from Robertson on the top. Still fights through them. And Martin <laughs> reacting to everything Haig is doing. Does a pretty nice job and Haig still killing time here with five left on the shot clock. Oshawa's players heading to the bench to get the penalty killers out. And here comes Jake McNabb who is back in the defensive zone. 33 in the third quarter. Still just under a minute left in the penalty. Fifth attacker just getting out there for Brampton. It's Mancini. That's just a shot from the outside by Thompson. Ball bouncing about and she's good. She tried to get it. Tebow gets it and he's gonna tuck it home into the abandoned net. And Schutzkowski's 
second guessing himself on that one as he went to try and get that ball, didn't get it. And Tebow, you can see his eyes get as big as saucers as that ball was free. He grabs it, there's nobody tending the twine, and he tucks it home for a power play goal to make it 13-8, push Brampton back up by five with 13.6 to go here in the third quarter. Face-off violation, and we're going to have a penalty now for Ryan Haig. Maybe if you call him kneeing him in the head every time. Matthews is trying to fix his helmet. He's just going to head to the bench, have a word for Haig as he goes. Every face-off, he sticks his knee right in his face. Matthews is connecting with Haig physically pretty often. So we'll have 10.7 seconds on the power play. No need to pull the goalie, of course, with the man up already. Graham Nitsky. Rampton waiting for the last second. They take a shot. Stop by Shutskowski. And we go to the intermission. Through three quarters, it's 13-8 for the Brampton Express over the Oshawa Outlaws. I'm Stephen Stamp. This is Arena Lacrosse League. We'll see you for the fourth quarter. Friends, quarter number four, it's 13-8 for Brampton. They are in the power play for another minute 49. And Oshawa will have first possession. Sear gets it, runs for the double team, is knocked down. Takes a few swats. Bergsma, nice job protecting from going over center. Penalty coming now. Brampton picks it up and that will even things up. It's a roughing call on Matthews. Nope, Matthews going to the bench. Duncan Cart going to the box. So we're four on four for a minute 28. Then 30 seconds. Something, something just happened between McMichael and Atwood. I would just ripped all the shit off. There's a drive to the net. Reaching out to shoot was Gilray. I think he missed the net. Yeah, the shot clock keeps ticking. Hard, that shot by Simons takes off from him, kind of floated out of the stick. McDonald takes it on the near side. Waiting for the Express to get everybody out there. McNabb takes the pass. They've got three righties. This will be able to get them to the bench quickly. Stumbling but getting the pass off was Mancini. Three to shoot. That one doesn't get through. It's grabbed by Schutzkowski. Nice shot by Mancini to keep the ball free for Schutzkowski to get. And Oshawa. Doesn't connect on the outlet pass, but they will get the possession. 20 left on the Oshawa penalty. That one's wide, it'll be an over and back and Brampton will get it. 12 to go on the, on the four on four. Thompson takes it back for McNabb. Haig is released, comes back into the defensive zone. 12 on the shot clock for the Express. It looks like Ryan Haig is going back, or they're both going. Scott Haig for sure, is McNabb going as well? Looked like a cross check and an unsportsmanlike, but they're both with Oshawa, I think. Okay. 
Okay, so it was what we thought, two for cross-checking to Haig, two for unsportsmanlike to McNabb. Because there's already a player out there, they don't change the man advantage, but that power play ends in a hurry. Cam Mancini ripping it. Or is that Keegan White? I think that was Keegan White blasting that one home. So 14-8, and that's actually, sorry, a short-handed goal for Brampton. So they've got four seconds remaining. Bergsma taking the draw, rips it out. Sear has it, he's got a chance. Shoots low, foot save by Martin. Good hustle by Blumberg to go after. He's still fighting for the ball, kicks it along. They're going to call through the crease. On Oshawa, Brampton will get possession. Can't go through the crease and be the first player to touch the ball or the first to receive a pass. Chellen. Mancini fights through. Looked like he was going to turn around, doesn't, scores. It's a heck of an effort by Mancini. The Oshawa defense not too sparky there. And the Express extend their advantage. They did have them doubled up 10 to five and 12 to six. If they get one more, they'll extend that to doubling them up 16 to eight. It is now 15-8 for Brampton with 12-10 to go in the fourth. Ward against Farthing for the draw that time. Ward for Brampton, Mark Farthing for Oshawa. Here's Duncan Cart. Tebow gets a pick from Dramnitsky, goes far side. Tullin thought about shooting, pu shooting, pulled it down, tried to go by, got swallowed up by the D. Oh, comes out to Tebow. Nice save and somehow caught by Chutkowski. And Jeff Gaddis will just take this outlet pass and trot up over center. Atwood takes the pass. Big pick from Gilray. I think we're gonna penalty on Brampton. It's gonna be a goal. So Oshawa gets one, I think. So we might have had a holding the stick call. As Gilray came in to set the solid, yeah, it's holding the stick. It was a hard pick, and the defender just kind of grabbed onto it. But that is wiped out by that outside shot. And Oshawa gets one back. It's 15-9 with 11.21 to go in the fourth. Ward versus Bergsma. Bergsma peels it out, but the first guy there is Medeiros. He's got a man with him, passes across, hard shot from the outside. That one's blocked by Strocher, up out of play. So I strat, and the Express will get possession back with 11-11 to go in the fourth, make a wish. Here's Thompson. Mancini behind the back is picked off. Oshawa going for a break. Atwood all alone on Cole Martin. Nice stop by Martin. Atwood went for the low, low dangle and tried to pull it up. Martin just stayed right with him. Here's Gage Board. Nice pass inside. Graham Nisky with a couple of moves and Shuskowski just shadow dances with him. Basically mirror imaging, staying in perfect position and makes that save. Mancini on the far side. Sorry, that's Battersby. No, it is Mancini, and he scores. Cam Mancini. What a rip. Just waiting and waiting. Lots of patience. And it's 16-9. Figured this was going to be a close game as you look at Brampton coming in in third place. Tie for third place. 
Had 160 goals for, 161 against. Just a negative one. Oshawa comes in, in second place. 156 goals for, 157 goals against. Both teams have given up one more than they've scored. Eight and four for Oshawa, seven and five for Brampton. Had all the makings of a really tight battle. This is not how it's evolving at this point. Murphy finds St. John on the far side. He'll change direction. Shopping gets it to Simons. Foot save, leaving it behind was Martin. Nice job. He's got a man ahead. Great connection. Eistrat with another one. That's a lovely pass. Was that Horsley? Or that was Matthews, I think, making the pass out. Washua down 17 to nine, 10 2 to go. They will have a power play to try and get back into this. Hagen Matthews, the usual culprits at the center spot and Matthews comes away with it. He's got McDonald with him, little fake, shoots, stopped by Schutzkowski. It's a pretty nice drive off the face off by Matthews who gets to the bench to get a defender out. They were a little slow responding, and Farthing with the shot, that's stopped by the foot of Martin. Trying to tuck it back home. Didn't quite work out for Matthews. He'll fight off the check from Horsby. Horsley. Atwood at the top, he's gonna back away a bit. St. John with the pass, and then the pick through the middle. Hard shot from Gilmore. And we've got a penalty coming to Oshawa. Offensive zone penalty. McNabb loses the ball, Gettis grabs it and the penalty will be adjudicated. It's gonna be a slashing call on Austin Murphy. So Oshawa's power play Goes away after 54 seconds, and we'll have four on four of the cross for a minute six, barring further penalties. McNabb starting with Mancini, the other righty. Tebow takes it, and Ward is out there as well for Brampton. Millsap fights for one pick. McNabb gets around another, and gets a shot off, it's stopped by Schutzkowski. I think some contact with the second shoot. Skousey's looking for a call. His stick was checked while he was in his crease making a pass. That really is checking in the crease. Goaltender interference. No call. And we'll continue with the four on four. Atwood, arm save Martin. Fresh 30 at four of the Outlaws. Hard pass across, nice quick stick. Great one touch finish there by Ryan Haig, sorry, Gareth Haig on the frozen rope of a pass from Chris Atwood. Oshawa gets one back at 17 10. Still at 4 4, 4 on 4. Here couldn't quite grab it. Now he does come away with the ball. Matthews all over him. Matthews having a solid working game. Hey, wants to rip when he does and misses. Simons gets it back. Goes to the net. Stopped. Oh, and it's tapped in. That's gonna be an own goal. There's a discussion. It rolled down his back and in. No way. Crease violation call, they say no goal. I didn't see which outlaw it might have been in the crease there. <laughs> it's gonna be an own goal. It's a little bobbling or mishandling of the ball by the Brampton defender, but they get away with it. And now they go on to the power play for 50 seconds here. Thompson to Mancini. Beltman comes away with that ball after the 30 expires. Horlack will step up over center.
20 seconds left on the Oshawa penalty. That one's airmailed up over top, and we have reached the midway point. The media timeout, the officials timeout, 7.26 to go here in the fourth quarter. It's 17.10 for Brampton over Oshawa. Thanks for being with us and enjoying a Arena Lacrosse League action. Seamus Shanahan will start with possession, wearing his Ireland bucket as Brampton has 18 seconds left on their power play. They do not look like they're pressing. I think they're just going to wait. McNabb back up to Shanahan. Yeah, they're not going. Chullin to McNabb. They let the power play expire. <laughs> A couple of outlaws started to go out as Murphy got released, stayed up the floor, and then Shanahan heads back to make sure he's covered. Tebow covers that loose ball. Here's McNabb with a shot off the crossbar. McNabb gets his own rebound back. Rap checks Blumberg's, knocks the stick right out of McNabb's hand. Behind the back flip. Pretty nice play by Veltman. It looked a little... Dangerous, but he got it to Blumberg's, and Oshawa clears the zone. Trail by seven with six and a half to play. Atwood shoots, scores. That is classic Chris Atwood. Looking past all the way if there was one there, but thinking shot and buries that one in the top corner. Seventeen eleven. Six goals, six twenty-four. Brampton had six players out there. You can't start play with too many players on the floor, so the refs send one off and get things commenced. That pass never got near an Oshawa player. They are gonna put some pressure on though. Brampton with a bobble. Matthews had it, it gets away from him. He's tracking it down, takes a nice angle. Shoved down by Simons from behind. He's looking like he's shaking up a little bit on that play. Yeah, Simons is still down, he's just getting up. He's gonna make his way gingerly to the bench. <laughs> Curtis Ward through Horlack, gets the shot, but he steps in the crease. And it'll be Ottawa possession. Outlet pass finds Geddes. Oh, nice play, Josh Gilray through traffic. Nobody from Brampton seemed clear exactly who should be picking him up. And Gilray, with none of them doing so, threads the needle and tucks a shot home. Five goals to go for Oshawa, 5.43 to play. They are on the goal a minute pace that they need. They just have to keep it going and they can't afford to give any up. We have a violation on the faceoff. Ryan Haig will start with it. Leaves it there for his brother Gareth. Atwood circling. Steps inside. Hard low to high pass that just got away from Haig. And it's grabbed by Brampton. Tripping penalty oh, coming to Gareth Haig. Not a lot of contact, but definitely tripped up. Gage board. Feltman stopped, stopped by Shutkowski. Atwood going to the box. Oshawa kind of disbelieving, but I mean, that's a tough one because definitely banged his feet together and tripped up the player from behind. That will give Brampton another power play with a 17-12 lead, 5-17 to play. Dramanitsky's at the top, top strong left again for Brampton. Thompson. That hard pass away from Dramnitsky. Tebow tried to grab it. Good positioning by Blumbergs, but he can't get the ball, and Dramnitsky has it. <laughs> Eight seconds on the shot clock. And Cena will try a little sidearm that gets up and out of play. 
Oshawa's going to be able to kill some time, but again, just under five minutes down, they trail by five. Can't take too long. Still got to be looking for scoring opportunities while you're shorthanded. St. John drives to the net. Nice trail check. Chopping down on the stick there by Pent Eistrat. He is now running with Dramnitsky, who has the ball. Brampton will slow it down and set up the power play. McNabb straight back to Dramnitsky. Mancini tries one, gets up into the Raptors, touches. That one almost got loose, went into the bench. Odd little change there for Oshawa as, as Millsap hopped over the bench right in the middle and took a while for somebody to get on the floor. We're gonna have a slashing call on Dawson Battersby. That'll even things up a four on four with 40 seconds left in the Oshawa penalty. Oh no, it's Jake Gilmore going to the box. So that'll actually make it five on three for Brampton with 3.57 to go and that is a dagger. Ice trap will stay up as a safety valve. Brampton being pretty patient getting this power play possession going. Now they try and pass it down to Mancini. He can't quite catch it. It was right down around his knee. Crossed him up a bit. That shot was blocked on the way from McNabb. Feltman going hard after it. Pops up. Gets away momentarily from Strosher. He had tons of time. Looked around to make sure everyone, nobody was near him. They were not. Board now will pick him up. Seven left on the first penalty. Atwood's ready to head in there. Comes out of the box. <laughs> Brampton calling for, they'd like something called there. Here comes Eistrat over to McNabb. Eistrat gets it back and he'll circle around behind McNabb as Dramnitsky goes over to the left. He's still 56 seconds on the power play. Dramnitsky looks at the shot clock. Hard rip by Thompson, and it'll go straight out on the rebound to Brampton, and they've got a fresh 30. It's tipped by Millsap, grabs it. He's one on two, trying to see a way they can get to the net. He'll just put his shoulder down. That's a great goal. Millsap initiates contact, just bumps his player, his defender out of the way. Goes hard to the net, bounces one home. Short-handed marker for the Outlaws. Down by four, they're down to 2.32 to go here in the fourth quarter. Still hope. It's also still 35 seconds remaining on the Gilmore penalty, the slash. Matthews wins a draw up into the offensive zone. They can kill all but two seconds. Oh, sorry, they're on the power play. They aren't going to kill anything. <laughs> we'll see if they go after this ward. Dramnitsky takes a peek. McNabb, sidearm, bouncer. That one's well wide. Ward gets it. Six on the shot clock. They tried to backdoor quick stick, but didn't get through to Mancini. McNabb has two to get a shot off. Misses the net. That one comes right up here. Bounces right behind Gary Morrison of JBI Sports Network who's on the camera, and he very adroitly steps aside. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure he ever saw it, but the ball bounced right up beside us here in the stands. 1.40 to go. Precious Sands ticking out of the hourglass for the Outlaws, and now Brampton with possession comes back up forward. Martin will hand it off. Brampton in no hurry. Ward now goes to the net with the lane. Went through the crease. Went to play the ball and it's coming the other way. Atwood takes that pass. He's got Blumberg's trailing. Blumberg indicates he's going to set a pick. He slips it as Atwood just popped up outside the restraining line. Shuskowski has gone to the bench. So it is a six on five. 
Atwood trying to find a pass. Gets it through to Murphy. Murphy couldn't get the shot off. Empty net. Yawning for Pent Eistrat. Believe that'll be the hat trick. That'll make it 18 to 13 with 57 seconds to play. Matthews will face off against Bergsma. Sasha was going to try to get possession here and see if they can still creep back in. They do. Bergsma wins it back and get us on the run. He's going to let one rip. That's well high and wide. At this point, just hang on to the ball. Haig through the middle. Lane opens up, but he's stopped there by Martin. Haig is down and not looking very comfortable. 35 to go. Brampton. Oshawa hasn't pulled the goalie again, so Brampton has it. Robertson will just peel out. There's quite a bend in the stick of Trent Robertson. Not sure I've ever seen somebody play with a stick to the shaft that was that bent. Robertson's just doing circles around the offensive zone. The shot clock expires, he'll just lob it down. And with 5.2 seconds to go, that is going to do it. The final score will be 18 to 13 for the Brampton Express over the Oshawa Outlaws. I'm Stephen Stamp. Thanks for being with us on this JVI Sports Network production of Arena Lacrosse League Action. We'll see you for the next time.